junkyard empire ended because number one, COVID. Number two, and the biggest reason is Discovery Channel asked me for all of my social media rights. That means they wanted my Facebook, Instagram, all that crap. They wanted the rights to all that stuff and I was unwilling to give it to them. How did you like working with the production company and working with Discovery Channel? So it's a different ball game with, the, with, with doing this kind of stuff. Uh, I've been doing it long enough that I've gotten used to it. I don't like it. I don't like the, I don't think they do things in an efficient manner. I don't think they do things to the best of their ability. All they care about is getting a, a product up on TV. And I want to get a better product up on TV that can be done for less money, which is why we went to our streaming platform. So I, I don't want to bash them because they got me to where I am today. But as far as running a business is concerned, it could be done a lot better. How many businesses do you own and operate outside of Junkyard Empire? Six or seven is what I manage right now. How many of the guys from Junkyard Empire, the TV show, do you still work with? Out of the guys, uh, the guys who have, have done Junkyard Empire are now living in different states, doing different things. Uh, so I would say probably five or six of them are still around that would work with me on this platform. Uh, but we're always looking for bigger and better. Are there any people that were on your TV show, Junkyard Empire, that you don't think were accurately described uh, on TV as they are in real life? Yeah, they probably me. In real life, you know, I, the most, my hate mail mostly is, oh, you're an asshole, you know, you treat your dad like shit. Well, that, that's just TV, man, it's not the case. My dad and I have a great relationship. I, I think they made me look a certain way on TV because that's what sells which is fine, that's what you know made me successful, but in real life, people who know me know that that's not the case. What has been the greatest benefit that you feel you've received from being on TV? The happiness. I think I, I, it's made me happy to make shows that make other people happy. I'm happy doing the things that I do. I'm happy building things like this and using my mind, being creative, uh, and just having that, that creativity flow in a manner that the TV show allowed me to let happen. Uh, so I think it was, it was and still is a great segue to a different part of my life. What is the worst thing that came from the TV show and being on TV? I'd say the worst thing from being on TV is the production company and the aggravation that automatically follows that. I like to build a car a certain way and it, I'm very particular, I'm anal retentive and all they want to do is make it TV ready. They don't want to finish a car. so. For me, that just drove me bonkers and I put a lot of gray hair on my head. Anything that you guys might want to know about how I operate my business, about the junkyard, anything in general, just leave a comment and I will answer you.